Welcome and welcome and thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Shayla and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I do to clean, to moisturize, and to protect my hair when I have braids. And as you guys can see, your girl got some braids. But because I don't want to waste seven hours sitting up in that chair, we want to do things to protect our hair, right? And to make it last, right? It's a protective style. So I'm going to start with the cleaning and the shampooing process. I'll tell you what I don't do. <laughs> I don't just hop my naked butt up in that shower and just, you know, go ham and how I would regularly wash my hair. Like, you know, you rinse first and then you just go in and start washing that scalp. Don't do that because you're going to mess up your boxes. You're going to mess up your parting and it's going to loosen up the hair follicles from, you know, the neatness of um, your scalp. I adjust the pressure of the shower head for it not to just, you know, hit really hard because that's also going to disrupt um, your scalp and what I do is I take a spray bottle and this is just a spray bottle that had leave-in conditioner in it and once it was finished I just kept the empty bottle so I use it to wash my hair with uh, my braids by putting up to here shampoo and the rest water and the shampoo that I use is this um, kinky curly come clean natural moisturizing shampoo it's not necessarily moisturizing, but it definitely is a clarifying shampoo. And even when I don't have braids, I love this shampoo because it cleans my scalp. I cannot stand the feeling of washing my hair and I can still feel like grease or I don't know. It just, it's not clean, you know? So I love this clarifying shampoo so much. And just to prove it to you guys, because that one's almost empty. I have a full bottle right here. Like I do not go without this shampoo. <laughs> And so what I do with the spray bottle is I just, you know, spray my parts and then I massage gently. Okay, next step is you're going to want to, of course, condition. Use any conditioner that you guys um, normally use. And right now I'm using this um, Honest conditioner because it's my daughter's and it's just what I have. And it's just, it's very gentle. It has a bunch of good oils in it and it's free of silicones, parabens and all that stuff. It's, it's a baby conditioner. So I use this and I just, you know, again, just gently massage it on my parts all over my scalp. And just like I had mentioned before about the water pressure from your shower head and disrupting your parts when wetting your hair and then like rinsing out your hair, um, same with the conditioner. If you guys cannot adjust the water pressure on your shower head, then nobody's gonna judge you. Just go to your kitchen, get a cup, get some kind of container and just fill it with water and then just dump it through and you know, just keep checking to make sure all of your shampoo is out of your scalp and all of your conditioner is out of your scalp because you know you want to thoroughly clean you want to thoroughly rinse out okay next drying process so take a towel t-shirt whatever you use just you know gently pat and get all of the water out of your braids because it's synthetic hair it's basically like plastic hair it's not gonna dry like right away like natural hair would so um, try to get all of the water out as much as possible and kind of like squeeze um, the water out into your towel or your t-shirt. So my blow dryer, it actually has different settings of heat and a cooling button. So because it's a protective style, you don't want to add heat. It just doesn't make sense. So you're going to want to put it on a low heated setting and just, you know, from a distance, dry out most of the water from all of your braids. Don't focus too much on your scalp, just your braids, because again, it's plastic hair and it's going to take a really long time to dry and it's going to shorten that time for you. Then next is the moisturizing process and shout out to my girl Candy who recommended this spray to me because I absolutely love it. It's from the main choice and it's um, called Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Restorative Spray. Helps to support natural growth and retention and it smells really, really, really good. It smells like um, <laughs> tropical moringa, but it kind of smells like berries to me. It smells really, really fresh, really light, really nice, and it has no mineral oil, no petroleum, no, par no parabens, and it leaves your hair feeling soft, and it hydrates and moisturizes. That's what it says. That's what it definitely does. And what I do with this is I spray my scalp all over, and then I spray my braids to where my hair ends. And it's going to um, just seal in that moisture. And what I really like about this is that the top ingredient is aloe vera. And aloe vera is very hydrating in your hair, and your scalp is just gonna 
suck it in. <laughs> then after that, I use this um, hair oil from Eden Body Works. It's called Peppermint Tea Tree um, Oil. <laughs> it's light and refreshing. It's paraben free. It has no mineral oil. And you guys, if you know anything about tea tree or peppermint oil on your scalp when you are just itching and dandruff and flaking, it has the most cooling, sensational, just best feeling in the entire world on your scalp. It's just so good and that's exactly what this does it soothes your scalp and it hydrates it at the same time and what I do with this because it is a spray I just spray it in my hand and then I just go through and I just you know massage all of my parts all over my scalp also because it's a light oil it's going to soak into your scalp and then whatever oil I have left on my hands um, from using this I just you know just squeeze it into where my hair is in the braids <laughs> and then next you're going to want to tame those edges and what i use it was recommended by one of the sales associates at the beauty supply store it's called um, diamond edges 24 hour hold and it says braid edges locks and twists conditioner it looks like this and the smell is like like synthetic bananas and pineapples but I don't know it just it smells kind of good to me <laughs> but I use this to lay down my edges and then I use a little edge brush and it has a little comb at the bottom this is just what I always use and I just you know get those baby hairs to lay down and then also here's another trick mousse you guys this mousse right here from um, cream of nature with argan oil um, I use this to get not on my scalp but just on my boxes and then I use a scarf to lay down my edges and then to lay down my boxes nice and flat and um, that's about it that's everything that I do and this is just a you know long head wrap scarf so that you can tie it anyway um, that's what I have for you guys and what I do to maintain my braids and I hope that I was able to help you guys out and if I did don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to the channel and hope wherever you guys are at you guys are remaining safe healthy and positive and until next time bye love